All right, God bless you. Hallelujah. One more time, one more time. Hallelujah. We just got through doing another lesson that the Lord led us to do, and this is the second one, back to back. Yeah, I forgot I got on the same same shirt. Sometimes I got if I have on the same clothing, <laughs> I get the message mixed up. <laughs> so let me see if I can do this <clears throat> to know a difference. Let's see if I can do this. Hold this up for a minute. And maybe it'll, it'll, it'll show this. Once again, this is the service of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. We coming to you one more time. Praise God. Representing Jesus Christ and the Father. We greet you from God the Father and from his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the son of God. Jesus Christ is alive. And is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. We greet you all on today. We greet the saints of God everywhere. We're one. We're together. Don't worry about nominating. ain't about nothing. But the saints are one everywhere in the body of Christ. No skills in the body. Uh -huh. We don't operate on the leadership of nobody but Jesus. Wait a minute. You don't operate on the bishop? No. You ain't the cow of the bishop? No. I remember once that I was chair down in New Year, the pastor said, you got to be accountable to somebody. Then he said, I'm accountable to Bishop Blake. Then he said, now nah, I don't know who Bishop Blake would be accountable to. Now I ain't tell a fool. And I said, Bishop Blake accountable to the same one you accountable to, and that Jesus Christ. All of us are accountable to Jesus Christ and God the Father, and we're going to give an account. Yeah, you understand that. But we're glad to be here one more time. <clears throat> well, about I guess about when I was lying in bed early this morning. Today is Tuesday. I'm, I'm guessing now. Maybe 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. And the Lord brought this lesson to my attention. Hallelujah. You know we led by the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost leading God in the altar. We want to talk about long suffering. What is long suffering? What is long suffering? What is long suffering? I'm holding this up here and hope, hope that when, you know, hopefully they will have the caption like this so I won't get it mixed up with the video I just did. <laughs> what is long suffering? What is that? Well, you suffer a long time. Okay. I want to. Go to Galatians chapter 5. True love of the Spirit. We, we won't elaborate on long suffering. Galatians chapter 5. Praise him. Praise him. Long suffering. Galatians chapter 5. And verse 22. Let's put this in context. Uh, let's start with verse 10. Galatians 5 and 10. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The spirit, the new birth, born again, wild in spirit. New creature, the Holy Ghost, born of the spirit. 
If you follow them, you follow the Spirit, you follow the Holy Ghost, you follow your new nature, you will not sin. Nobody sin follow no, nobody sin following Jesus. When you sin, you didn't follow Jesus because Jesus told you not to. Jesus ain't going to sin no more, but that's another lesson we're going to deal with. Jesus ain't going to sin no more, so you ain't following Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So you ain't following Jesus if you sin. You went left. You you follow you follow leadership that told you ain't none of public, ain't none of without saying nobody public. We all got sin. That's who you follow. You didn't follow Jesus. <clears throat> Galatians 5 16. This I say then walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that we ye cannot do the things which you would. But if ye be led of the spirit, yes, it's a fight going on. But if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. That's the law of sin and death. Uh -huh. That, that's that's also the law of Moses, which was the law of sin and death. Because that the law never took away sin. And you had to continue to bring your offerings and all that kind of thing. Because you had sin. If you be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these a dug, fornication. Unclean, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, various, immolation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy, envy, murder, drunkenness, reveling, and such like. Anything that we didn't hit, that, that didn't name, that you doing that wrong. And such like, they get that. Sin, sin is sin. And such like, of which I tell you before, I also told you in time past, that they would do some things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You ain't going to heaven. You're doing the whole thing, you're saying you ain't going to heaven. Now you better quit. You better believe Jesus Christ. You better call on him and take all, all your sin away. His blood is for remission of your sin. He came to save people from their sin. He take away the sin of the world. He'll take your sin away. He'll free you from the bondage of sin. It's where you should not serve sin. He'll give you spirit that you be led by. <coughs> that don't lead you to sin. All right. Call on him. But the fruit of the spirit is love. Joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against us there is no law. Ain't no law against the fruit of the Spirit. But it's law against sin. Excuse me. It's law against sin. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. Silence. Ah. Hold on one second. I'm on my laptop. I can pause now. And we're back. You know, I can pause recording <laughs> on my laptop. Twenty-four, Galatians five, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. All old sin, we kill that. We kill it.
If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Let us not be desired of vain glory. Now you desire vain glory. Want somebody to praise you? You ain't walking in no spirit. You feel with pride. You won't take God glory. Provoking one another, envying one another. You, you provoking one another to provoke one another. Provoking one another to do wrong. Envying one another. You ain't crucified the flesh. You ain't led of the spirit. Don't do that. But back up here, but the fruit of the spirit, twenty by twenty. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentle, good, faith, meek, temperance. Against such there is no law. Now, you know laws against your sin. God laws against your sin. The, the scripture even say the law is for the lawless. Yeah. All right. I want to talk about long suffering. What is long suffering? That's what I want to talk about. I want to take a closer look at long suffering. Yeah, you suffer long. You suffer long. You even endure to the end. And the Holy Ghost give you power to endure to the end. Now, what are you going to need to endure? Mm -hmm. You're going to need to endure the persecution, the hatred, the wrath, the lie that the people, <clears throat> that the world is doing to you for Jesus' name's sake. Doing all man evil against you. You got to endure all that. Excuse me. For his name's sake. That means you got to be preaching his name. You got to be representing his name. And you got to be vocal about it. And when the people when the world know that you uh, uh, represent his name and preaching his name, they ain't going to want to hear it. Look at how they just stone Stephen and Kill James and beat him, whip the apostles and put him in prison and all that. Uh, and hallelujah. Long suffering. Let's take a let's take a closer look. Don't you know that we preach the gospel with long suffering? We ain't threw you away, but we want you to be saved. Yeah, you put you push it away from you. Now you ain't fighting it. It's one thing to give that which is holy to dogs and uh, be it God's speed to false prophets and uh, cat prayer before swine and blind leaders of the blind. That's a different thing. But you ain't fighting Jesus. You ain't fighting Jesus. You ain't fighting the word. Yet you in error. Yet you're not obeying. So we're going to continue to preach the word to you over and over and over again. Long suffering. Uh -huh. All right. Let go to work here. I think I want Timothy. I want Timothy. Hallelujah. Oh. I want the book of Timothy. Chapter. Number. Second tip. Timothy. 
chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4. Let, let's take a closer look at long, sir. Second Timothy 4 and 1. I charge you that and I'm, and I'm, I'm teaching you now the word of God. Some of you, some, some, some of you, some of you get frustrated. Well, but why are they rejecting the truth? Now they not fighting it. Why are they not obeying it? How come they how come they not getting it? But they ain't fighting. In 2 Timothy 4 and 1. Listen, ministers. Listen, ministers. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead, and in the period in the kingdom, preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, reprove. Reprove, rebuke, exhort, and you do this with all long suffering and doctrine. We exhort, reprove, rebuke with this, with doctrine. And long suffering. Sometimes the more we preach, the worse you get. Though you though you you're not fighting the word now, <laughs> but you're still not living and putting it into practice. Though you're not fighting. Now, if you fight it, that's a different thing. The time will come when they would not do a sound doctrine. Now that now, now there's in season and out of season. It's a season coming. That season is here, God knows. When they would not endure sound doctrine, they ain't going to endure it, but we're going to preach it anyway. We're going to continue to preach. But out of their own love, they were even himself teaching having this ear. They shall turn away their ear from a truth that shall be turned to faith. But what thou in all the endure, endure affliction. Do the work of the brand made for approval that I've written, man. Back on the two. Preach the word be as this e last e reprove, rebuke us all with all long suffering doctrine. Long suffering. You ain't doing right yet. By God, you at the more we preach the worst you get. But long suffering. We still gotta deal with it. We ain't throwing you away. <laughs> we still gonna preach it to you. Praise God. Praise God. You, you know, you know it's the truth. Some of you and I some of you when you get sick on your de on your on your sick bed, even on your deathbed, my God, you yeah. oh, you will come to it. You're going to remember the word that we preach. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to repent. But hopefully before they, don't wait till you get to your deathbed. Long suffering. All right. Go to Peter, long suffering. You, you that say that, why you saved today? Call God with long suffering. Second Peter.
2 Peter chapter 3. Watch this. And 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him without spot and blame. You got time right now. In the same thing you like, you better get rid of And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. He didn't cut you off. Lord will say, I know I ain't doing right, but God is faith. Yeah, he's trying to get you to do right. Now, what are you going to do right? God alone, you, you fault prophet. God alone suffer. You know better. You know the truth. Some of you in there, you in there. God alone suffer towards you. <clears throat> And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, who according to the will of giving him, had written unto you. And also in all his epistles. Speaking in them of these things, in which some things hard to be understood, that they which are unlearned and unstable wrestle, and they do other scriptures uh, to their own destruction. Don't you fight? Yeah, I don't care if you ain't living, don't fight. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before. Be well lest ye be led away with the error of the wicked. Be well now. Fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace. <clears throat> and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. All right. Stay in Timothy. And go to chapter Peter, Peter, I'm sorry, Peter, second Peter, chapter three. And in verse one. This second epistle, beloved, I now write to you in bold, which I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. I want to stir your mind up. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first that there shall come in the land they scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? He ain't came yet. Y'all be saying he coming, he ain't came. For since the, for since the father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Ain't nothing saying he ain't coming. And this they in this for this they willingly are ignorant, they ignorant of this, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then would be an old for with water perished. Remember Noah? 
but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. You're going to be burned up. And you ain't going to die. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day with the Lord is a thousand years, a thousand years in one day. For the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering, that it were again, long suffering to us with, not where that is, the parent that all should come to repentance. That's why he ain't kill you yet. He give you time to come to repentance. It, 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 he spoke about Jezebel. He gave her space to repent. She didn't repent. Now he gave you space to repent now. So, so he would get up and say, I'll see you get up. I know I, I know I ain't been living right, but the Lord still let me feel his presence. He give you chance to repent. He giving you chance to repent. Back to Timothy, reprove, rebuke with all long suffering and doctrine. The folk don't want to be corrected. My God, when they be corrected, look at them go to fight. They try to make it personal. When they be corrected by the Lord. And I say so all I don't preach me at all. They try to make it personal. The word of God come to them, they try to make it personal. They don't want to hear it. Praise God. He long suffered to us. Not with that we perish. Long suffering, we're going to keep preaching to you. We, we ain't throwing you away. We're going to keep preaching. Some of your hard headed and rebellious. Well, we're going to keep preaching it. All right, I think I'm 1 Romans chapter 2. My God, today. Watch it. You know it's the goodness of God that leads you to repentance. Now, how is that possible? He long suffering to you, give you chance to repent. He long suffering to you so you can hear the word of God and repent. Romans chapter 2. And verse number 1. Thou art inexcusable, old man. Listen, can read carefully. Whosoever thou art that judges, wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judges do the same thing. You doing the same thing that you condemn another for. You have no excuse. And we are sure that the judgment of God is according to the truth against them which commit such things. The judgment of God coming on you. And thinking thou this, old man, thou that judge that then would do such thing and do and you do the same thing. That thou shalt escape the judgment of God. You think you're escaping the judgment of God? You up here preaching telling for what not doing, you doing that same thing. You ain't gonna escape. Or despising thou the riches, watch this, of his goodness. Of God's goodness. And the forbearance. And long suffering. Not knowing that the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Leads thee to repentance. It's the, it's the goodness of God. That sent the word of God to you. That sent me to you. You were in error. Because you find leadership. Yeah, in error. Talking about ain't nobody put me, ain't nobody without sin. Yeah, in error. Talking about sword seed for a miracle. Tied in registration feed to heal preacher. You in error. Lying about tithing and offering. And we still got to keep the law. You in error. Watch this. Or despise that. Robert 2, we have verse 4. Despise thou the riches of his goodness. 
and for bearers and long suffering. He long suffered to us. Not knowing that the goodness of God leads thee to repentance. That's why he ain't cut you off. The apostle Paul said he did what he did ignorantly. Break five. But after thy heart is an impotent heart, you won't repent. Tread it up thyself wrath against the day of wrath and, 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 and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. And God going to judge you and he going to judge you right too. Who will render every man according to his deed. The false prophet said, ignorant folks say I had to straighten them out of my chair. God is going to judge you according to your way. Yes, he is. Praise God. Long suffering. Long suffering. We continue to preach the word to you. We ain't giving up on you. You act ugly. You act out. Yeah. Act all kind of way. And you pull be saved. When we bring the word of God, the word of God, the word of God make you act funny. Make you act ugly. Hallelujah. You act a trait. The more we preach, the worse you get. And you pull be seasoned saints. But you scare the bishop. You scare your nomination. You scared they're gonna remove you from your hellbound position. Long sir, we gonna continue. We ain't going to stop. We're going to continue to preach the word to you. God don't want you to be lost. That's why he continue to send his word. He continue, though you reject it and you don't obey it, he continue to send his word. He long suffering, not willing that you should pay, but that you come to repent. That's why we preach and tell you, you got to repent. Don't they tell you where they accept you, God, you better say, bleed, die, and rail again. But we tell you to repent. God wants you to repent. Excuse me. He wants you to repent. Repent. Turn from your seat. Turn to him. Call on him. Believe him. Keep in command. Stop saying it. Long sir. Putting up with you. God still love you. To continue to bring a word to you. We wouldn't doubt. We ain't going to doubt tell you. Okay. See. You see you disobeying. We ain't got nothing else to say to you. Oh no. We going to continue with long suffering. With long suffering. That, that's God. Long suffering. Having us to continue. To preach to you. To warn you day and night. Long suffering. So you can repent. Long suffering. Act in kind of way you won't act. Long suffering. Long suffering. Praise God. Long suffering. Continuing to suffer long with you. Long giving you the word of God. No, I'm not agreeing with you. But giving you the word of God continually. Continually. Continually you disobey, but we continue to give it. You act a trade and walk a trade, but we continue to get it, to give it. You bring forward problems among us, we continue to give it. Continue giving, he gives you his word. Continue giving you his word. Continue. We ain't going to leave you alone. We're going to continue. All right. Thank you for very long suffering. Putting up with you. Now, God love you. You better repent now. It's going to be too late after a while. Long suffering. Hallelujah. Thank you for very much.